Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Apostle, how do I make the prophetic from scripture? Let's start with scripture. How do I make the prophetic from scripture work for me? I want to be able to take the truths of scripture and make it happen, create possibilities in my life. Let me give you a few rules of engagement. Let's start with the prophecy of scripture. Number one, you must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern. It's a long sentence, I'll break it down for you. You must access the prophetic blessing of scripture. You must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern by locating scriptural promises these are the rules of engagement now you want to make the word of god as a prophetic platform to work for you rule number one is that you must find from scripture you must pay the price to locate where god has said what concerning you in luke chapter 4 and verse 17 you must access the prophetic blessing of scripture by locating scriptural promises that relate to your area of concern Luke 4 17 the Bible says and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and the Bible says when he had opened the book please say open the book one more time say open the book prophesy to yourself say open the book when he had opened the book sometimes it is not in walking around that you find sometimes it is not traveling from place to place that you find finding comes when you open the book when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the word of god will never profit you until you find where it is written have you found where it was written concerning your health it is written have you found where it is written concerning your safety can i tell you do not trust any confidence you have if you cannot support it with scripture what makes you believe that your children are going to be great? I train them well. You are joking. Go back to scripture. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth and the generation of the upright shall be blessed. This is the basis of my confidence. If you believe that even if your child goes from pillar to post, find rest, this word you believe will draw him. One day that child will come for koinonia and as soon as he's sitting he comes late for miracle service he's barely sitting when the power of god will carry him and as he lands like paul you he will hear a voice saul saul why persecutest thou me listen believers we activate the prophetic dimension of scripture by first locating where it is written everything about your life has a parallel that is written Somebody shout, it is written. One more time, let the devil hear you say, it is written. So the next time you say, Apostle, I don't know what is happening around my life. It is difficult for the word of God to help you with that kind of confusion. What is the area? Jesus will meet people and say, what should I do for you? What do you want the word of God to do? Apostle, I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And it looks like the doctor said this and that and that and that. I know if I meet you, before you meet me, meet the word. Find three or four scripture because in the mouth of two or three, a matter is established. Find two, I'm showing you how to, to be a profitable believer. Find two or three scriptures that talk about your fruitfulness. Are we together now? Yes. So that is the first key. Man of God, what makes you believe ministry will prosper? People like me. The first conference I held, I saw several people. You don't know the heart of man. Hallelujah. <laughs> people like anything that starts for the first time. It takes the word to keep it going. So number one, you access the prophetic blessing 
by locating scriptural promises. I hope you are not confused. I'm showing you how to engage the prophecy of scripture now. We are going to come to human vessels. Number two, declare them boldly. That's the second rule of engagement. How do I make the prophecy of scripture work for me? Number one, find where it is written from scripture. And number two, declare it boldly. Psalm 107 verse 2. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Simple. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can I tell you, bold declarations of faith is part of the ways that we activate the prophetic dimension of scripture. Ah, in the name of Jesus, there shall be no loss. The Bible says the path of the just shines brighter and brighter and you now personalize it and put your name in the name of jesus i declare i do not have a better yesterday my future will always be better than yesterday i declare by the power of the word let the redeemed of the lord say so numbers 14 28 very quickly numbers 14 28 numbers 14 28 declare them boldly say unto them as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do for you. As ye have spoken, not as you want to happen, as you have spoken. Since all you were saying is there is nothing about us, this family we will not rise. You do not know that you have been prophesying negative things. So will I do unto you. One last scripture for that point. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 23. The Bible says to hold fast 1023. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. The profession without wavering for he is faithful that promised. What has he told you? He said hold it fast through your profession of faith. Told you primarily through scripture. Apostle, now that you have spoken, I don't even trust my vision. So keep the vision aside and focus on the scripture that has been proven. While you fine tune your vision, you can be sure that you will not go wrong with scripture. Is God helping someone? So number one, access the scriptural promises in the area of concern. Number two, declare them boldly. Number three, write please quickly. Obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestation. Obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied to their manifestation. Obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied to the manifestation of that promise. Don't assume that because you spoke, it will happen. Every promise of scripture has a participatory condition to activate the prophetic power that resides within it. And let me tell you the truth. The prophetic power that is resident in scripture will only be manifest at the instance of your obedience. Obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestations. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 and 2, popular scripture. It shall come to pass, 28, 1 and 2, that if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do, notice, to observe and to do, all his commandments which I command you this day that the Lord your God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth verse 2 it says and these blessings shall come on thee at the instance of your obedience and overtake thee if thou will hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God Isaiah 1 19 and 20 please give it to us Isaiah 1 19 and 20 we're looking at the third rule of engagement that turns the prophecy of scripture to profit you if ye be willing and obedient willingness is not enough obedient ye shall eat the good of the land verse 20 it says but if ye refuse and rebel ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the lord has spoken it so you want the prophecy of scripture to work for you? Number one, locate. Locate from scripture. Listen, every time Koinonia learn this, let this be a modus operandi for your managing challenges and turning negative things into victory. 
the moment you are in any negative situation please minimize lamentation go straight to scripture what has the word of god said concerning this condition your life still remains at a risk until you find at least two or three scriptures as simple as this is there are people who have felt too proud to follow the simplicity of this protocol now to their detriment you ask me what is the basis for your confidence in this ministry I'm not just going to say because the leaders love me or because I love them as wonderful as these things are I will show you scriptures that represent the basis man of God what is the basis of your confidence for continuity in ministry what makes you believe that this Christmas koinonia what makes you think that you will come back next year here God forbid I will not die I agree what is your basis ask the devil now don't tell me ask the devil what is the basis of your confidence bold face is only a recipe for disaster surround yourself with scripture and then number two declare it boldly any truth you find and you are ashamed to declare you don't have to declare before people you are declaring to the realm of the spirit because the bible says declare ye that thou mightest be justified wisdom demands that it's not everything you say in the presence of men because of the heart of men but as far as the protocol of confession is concerned you can lock your door and begin to speak in the name of jesus i decree and declare i may be a tenant right now in one room but i prophesy by the power of the holy spirit that i will feed nations in the lifetime of my loved ones I will build for them I will build churches for Jesus Christ I may be a man of God right now who is suffering epileptic in my revelation but in the name of Jesus I am gaining stability spiritually I will communicate doctrine with precision and power let the redeemed of the Lord say so and then number three to obediently fulfill the conditions tied to their manifestation ladies and gentlemen please hear me this is where many believers are bought the journey to making the bible release its prophetic potential over their lives most people have found what god has said about them but to now engage to now engage as you will be learning the prophet spoke over samaria he said by this time tomorrow this would happen and he went do you know the morrow would have come and another morrow, another morrow, and nothing will happen? The Bible says there were four lepers. Is that true? And those lepers began to speak to themselves. Because you see, the signs follow. The signs don't go before. If you cannot take a bold step of faith, the signs cannot follow. And the leper said, listen, we are lepers. Why sit we here till we die? Let us go and fall into the hands of our enemies. If they spare us, that is fine. If they don't spare us, we perish. Are we together now sounds like what esther did declare fast i will go even though not invited if i perish i perish none of them perished hallelujah and the bible says as they got up and they began to move according to the prophetic word of the prophet the bible says the lord made their enemies to hear a sound of chariots and they say ah the king of israel has gone to get into alliance with other kings and they are now coming to destroy us the bible says they got up in the morning and they ran by the time the lepers got there all they saw was food and gold the bible says they entered from house to house and they ate free of charge they had to a point that they said, listen, we are not that evil. No matter how we want to exhaust this, we can't finish it. This is a lesson. Every time God brings you into the wealthy place, if you think about yourself alone, you will die. They said it there. Because you are alone there, there is no, that, those vast resources. Will you carry so much gold alone and be moving on the street and someone sees you? Wouldn't he kill you? There is safety in sharing. It's not only blessing, there is safety in sharing. And they said, no, 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 no. Let's go back to our people and bring them. Can you imagine blessings that can feed a nation? Will four people be able to? Only wicked people carry resources for a nation and consume it by themselves. Does that sound like what happens in Africa? Only very wicked people. Now that everybody prayed, everybody suffered, prophecy now came. 
and then a few people just said now that we have found it let's just stay here and eat it hallelujah let me give you the last key we're about to pray what is the last key remain steadfast giving thanks remain steadfast comma giving thanks remain steadfast giving thanks this is the fourth key we're discussing rules of engagement now how to release the prophetic potential that is locked up in the word of god number one locate scriptures that address the issue of concern number two that you declare boldly as a law you are not declaring because you are a noise maker the, it is a law in the spirit the law of manifestation demands that it is only what is spoken that manifests number three that you obediently fulfill the conditions that are tied therein for instance if you are praying and trusting god for wealth and prosperity and you are not a giver you are not faithful in your tithing you are not faithful in giving are we together you are not faithful in taking advantage of your mind to have it transformed you are not faithful in being valuable to be able to pro to you know to to to, to be productive to be fruitful you are already no matter what you confess at best you will just have trickles of favor dripping down like dew but you want sustainable blessings you must find out the conditions that connect to it the bible says he that wants friends the condition is that you must show yourself friendly so if you are a selfish person who is all about you, you will find out that you will never have friends. You will go from pillar to post saying, this lady does not like me. This man does not like me. But the problem, sometimes you can even say, even my husband too does not like me. Before you now judge them, find out, are you friendly? As simple as that. Apostle, destiny helpers have not come to my life. Being, receiving from destiny helpers is a harvest. Who have you become a destiny helper to? Nobody. You can clap. Some of you want to clap. Please clap because that is a revelation for you. It is amazing how many people will not give many things they want given to them. Are we together now? Please listen. I'm trusting God for a destiny helper. I'm trusting God for someone to give me a job. I'm trusting God for someone to sow 1 million, 10 million. Believers even have the audacity. Faith is not foolishness. You ask them, what are you trusting God for? Say, I'm, at least I will manage 100 million. And you look at the person and say, what are you saying? And yet that person's mother or father is crying in the village. And the 2 million that you have, even 10,000, you cannot take from it. God is not a fool. You will reap what you sow, not what you want. Nobody reaps what they want. They reap what they sow. So make sure that what you want becomes what you are sowing. Hallelujah. Romans 4.20. Romans 4.20. Romans chapter 4, speaking of Abraham, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. The Bible says, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Please look at me. It is an act of faith to thank God, steadfastly waiting and celebrate the manifestation of the word of God in your life. There are many believers that carry an atmosphere of gloominess and sadness. And they say, what is wrong? You say, Apostle, me, I don't know. God promised me that my family will be smiling by December. Now, this is December, whatever. A few more days. Is it that God is not? I don't, this God self. If not because I was, I came from a Christian family. I will write a book that God is not faithful. And that person is still expecting the word to work. No. No. You must learn to give God thanks. Even when you do not see things happen. I'm still trusting God to change my husband. I'm still trusting God to change my wife. I'm still trusting God to open up those doors financially. I've engaged everything and it has not yet happened. Can I tell you, I want you to recalibrate your understanding so that every time you see your life, make sure that all your eyes see is what God is doing, not what the devil is doing. You can see what God is doing and say, Lord, I thank you. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are mighty. Now, how do you access the prophetic from vessels? This will be our last part and then we'll pray. Have you been blessed so far? 
the rules of engagement how do you access the prophetic from a man of God a prophet now that I've taught you how to access the prophetic and to release the prophetic from scripture forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy god's fire